Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Science. In this episode I want to show you an example of a double displacement or precipitation reaction. I'm going to mix um, solutions of sodium sulfate and barium chloride and I'm hoping to produce a precipitate or in other words I'm hoping to produce a solid from mixing these two liquids, uh, these two solutions. The actual equation looks something like this. I've got sodium sulfate, which is aqueous, it's a solution, plus a barium chloride solution, and a chemical reaction between them is going to occur, and that's going to give me barium sulfate, which will actually be the solid that is formed, the precipitate that is formed, and I'm also going to produce sodium chloride in solution form. The chemical equation is sodium sulfate plus barium chloride. Chemical reaction occurring will give me a solid barium sulfate plus sodium chloride. Now because this is a double displacement reaction, you'll notice that the reactants are swapping partners. The sodium will join on with the chloride and the barium will join on with the sulfate. They're both swapping over, swapping partners. Okay, let's put this uh, just there for the moment. And then I'll bring in my materials. So here I've got a test tube rack and a test tube. I've also got my sodium sulfate. And I've got my uh, barium chloride here. Okay, so I'll open the bottle for my sodium sulfate. Put a little bit in here. Close the bottle. And of course I'm going to wash my hands after I do this. Open this bottle. Okay, and in it goes. And you can see that it becomes very cloudy all of a sudden. Now that cloudiness that you can see is actually the barium sulfate, the barium sulfate that I've produced as a precipitate. So let's see if I can focus on the test tube itself. There we go. And so that is an example of a double displacement reaction between sodium sulfate and barium chloride. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you on the next episode of Science. Thanks, everyone.